Hello everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal at EdTech.tv. Are you a language lover, a word nerd, a lexicon lengthener? <laughs> Sometimes I find these apps out there that, um, you know, as a language teacher or as an English teacher, you want to share these with your students, but really on a selfish level, you're like, this is amazing, this is something that I want to use for myself. Um, Today, I can't believe this one skipped me by for so long. I was really happy to find this one. So um, I'm happy to share this with you today. And I want to ask a couple questions. Have you ever found a word that you don't know, probably looking through your phone, jumped over out of the regular app, whatever you were looking at, maybe, you know, your browser or Facebook, and you jumped to your dictionary? Then you try to remember the spelling and you typed it in and hopefully you got it right or you jump back and forth, maybe cut and paste it and you type it in and then you get the definition. So there you are, you've got your new word and then you promptly forget it. I've had this happen to me so many times. I love learning new words, but I just forget about them and they just don't stick with me all the time. I have to repeat them. I mean, that's what we learn as students and that's what we teach as teachers that you just have to work on repeating and repeating until you get those words in of course there are other theories in terms of learning but you know just in general the one time you do forget if you just look it up in the dictionary that's why i was so happy to find biscuit um, i know it's a strange sounding name for an app but uh today we're going to take a look at biscuit which is an app that will help you learn words in whatever application you are in, it connects back to it. It's so smart. Um, so let's take a look at it and see what it does. Before we jump into Biscuit, we do have to unbrainwash ourselves from the things that we've learned from Apple and iOS in general that uh, apps don't interact with each other, or at least not directly, and that you have to jump out of one to jump into the other. And the brilliant thing about Biscuit is that they've figured out a way around that, and uh, that's why I like it so much. So let's jump into it. Uh, the very first thing you can do once you're inside is you can pull down to add a word, just like anything else. So if we say test, and uh, there's the definition down below, I can add it. If I want to see the definition, I can just tap test. on the bar. It'll read it for me. Um, but I also might double click on the word itself and that'll let me change, oops, sorry, change the definition to something else. Now, uh, that depends on maybe how your students are using the words, but they can use this to create their own vocabulary lists. Now that part's okay, but really I wanna get into the fun stuff. So in the top right corner, we have the four squares. You wanna tap on that, and then you wanna tap on the cog. The dictionary section lets us choose all of the different languages we might want to convert to. So whether it's English to English or English to German or English to Japanese, whatever it is, you can choose the language that you're going for. So if you're working, for example, with ESL students, maybe they want to have you know their phone in English, but they want to get the definitions in Japanese, and that might work out really well for them. So then you uh, go back, and once you've chosen that, uh, you can click on audio pronunciations. You heard one earlier. You do have to download it. I've got it downloaded here, um, so it's going to take up some space on the phone, but it might be really worth it for your students. The rest of them we'll take a look at in a minute, but the really cool part about Biscuit is how it works in other apps. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump out of Biscuit and we're gonna jump into Safari. Now let's say I'm looking at this, uh, this page and I see this word ensemble here. Now normally I would have to cut and paste the word or maybe I would have to go and write in ensemble in my dictionary app, but the way they set it up is so cool. So I'm gonna select the word and then I'm just gonna hit copy. Ensemble. And right there at the top it gives me the definition. So now I've got, if I tap on it, it takes me right over to Biscuit, and now I've got Ensemble in my list of words. That is so awesome. Ensemble. So I can tap on it. It says a coordinated outfit. Again, I might want to double check that because maybe that's not the word that I'm looking for. Maybe I'm looking for a choral ensemble, 
but you can take a look at it and you can change the vocabulary as you like. You can also add the parts of speech down here in the middle. You can see the choice just above the keyboard. Really, really cool. So students can keep a list of the words that they don't know and it'll read it out to them. So let's go back over to Safari, add one more just in case. Um, how about Jingle? Jingle. And it adds it right over there to Biscuit. So awesome because now you're starting to collect a list of the words that you don't know and it saves them here so that you can look at them later. This is really, really useful, but we're going to keep going with this. So if you take the word and you slide a little bit to the left, you'll see that the blue sign shows up and it says mark. So now I can mark that particular word as one that I want to remember. Or if I slide it really far over, I can send it to the bottom, meaning that it's less important than the newer ones. If I slide it over to the right, it says dim. That might be a word that I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with, but I'm not ready to send away quite yet. And then all the way over and I can say memorized. And that's gonna send it off to a different section where I can say, hey, I've already memorized these words. I don't wanna worry about them anymore. So let's go take a look at where those are just real quick. If you tap on the uh, three bars and then down underneath it says memorized words. And now I've got a list of all the words that I said that I've already memorized. And it could be from the last seven days, the last 30 days. Um, and then eventually it's just going to throw them out because I feel comfortable with them. If I really, really feel comfortable with Jingle, I could slide it over and I can just delete it. Um, but if I say indicating I kind of forgot what that meant, I can restore it by sliding it to the right and putting it back into my list of words in my biscuit box. In addition to keeping a list of words that you've been uh, saving, you can click on the squares up here on the top right again and go to the cog. And you can see this one that says flash alert. So if you click on that, it's going to give you alerts of words that you have chosen. So basically what will happen is your phone every once in a while will buzz and it will remind you of the vocabulary word that you wanted to know. So if you set it uh, down here at the bottom with two marked flashcards only, then you're going to be able to see, you know, every once in a while it'll just kind of buzz and it'll say, hey, here was this word that you looked up and it'll give you, remind you of what it is. So that's a really, really useful little feature there. And one that I am, you know, I really wish that I had had when I was studying languages because I think that would be just kind of a nice way as a reminder to do it. Um, definitely useful so all you have to do is slide this over to marked if it has the blue tab then that would show up there on your uh, on your notification screen now one more thing I do want to talk about is uh, disappointments <laughs> um, so I do have a couple of little things that I am a little sad about when we tap here again you can see a chrome option and you can see a cog uh, but on the website it talks about a camera option where you should be able to take pictures of magazines and books and it'll instantly text recognize your entire uh, whatever you've taken a picture of and then pull those words into your list I don't see that here and I'm not sure why it hasn't happened um, but maybe that's just kind of a temporary thing. I hope that it does come back. Uh, the other thing that I'm a little bit disappointed in is the fact that you can't just turn these into flashcards. That seems like a really obvious choice just to be able to tap a button and have them show up as flashcards and you can practice whether or not you remember them. Um, it's not here. Maybe that'll be in a future version as well. But for what it is right now, this is really cool. I love the interactive side of it. The fact that it works together when you jump into Safari. You can jump into Facebook and do this. It really recognizes anything that you copy from another place. So a really, really good way for kind of real learning for your students. When they're, when they're studying and seeing words that they don't know in a real situation that they're actually engaged in, how much better is that for them to learn something? So definitely download Biscuit, uh, take a look at it, see what you think, play around with some of the options inside. And I think uh, any language learner, any person who's you know wants to build their vocabulary will definitely be happy with this one.
normally I don't talk about things that I'm disappointed with in apps. And, uh, you know, I, <laughs> it was a little unfair of me to do it even here. But the reason why is because I think that Biscuit has a ton of interesting potential. And I think that if they keep developing it, it can be a really, really great asset for language learners or for anybody that's just trying to get a little bit more access out of their uh, machine. So for today's homework, I just want to jump right into it. Uh, the first thing is going to be just download Biscuit for iOS or Android. Then choose if you want to download the voice packs. It does take up some space on your phone, so uh, check that out. And then finally, um, they also have a Chrome plugin. This is where they're probably making a little bit of their money. It's five dollars. Uh, look into it. It's right there. You can see the uh, you can see the link to it when you go on the uh, four squares on the top right hand side. Check it out. See if it's something that's useful to you. If you do start liking the app, you'll probably want to add it into your laptop as well um, or your PC at work or whatever. So uh, do check that out. As always, you know where to find me. I am on Twitter at EdTechPrincipal. I'm on YouTube also at EdTechPrincipal and then on Facebook at EdTechTV. I hope everything's going well for you guys and I will talk to you real soon. Best wishes. Talk to you soon.